everybody. This is Melanie. Welcome back to Crafting Chaos with Melanie. I hope everybody's doing good today. Today's video is just a laid back video and I just want to show you um, how many cards I got out of a 6x6 six six pattern pack. Um, earlier, um, I think it may have been my last video, I did the June sheet load of cards and these are those cards that I made. And I started with this Happy Mama pattern paper. And I've had this for a couple of years, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to see how many cards I can get out of this. And today was the perfect day to do it because it is a rainy day in Southwest Florida. I think we're going to have a lot of rain this week. And I just was just in the mood to just sit and just relax and just, you know, not do anything complicated, just do something easy and use all this paper up. So... I'm going to put these cards to the side. These are the ones. I will link this video below if you've not seen that. And another reason I decided to do the sheet load was because I love these sketches. These are such cool sketches. And let me show you really quick. I have a binder. And what I do is I print, print the sketches. I need to put this one in here. And I save them all. This is all the sheet loads. And it is a fantastic way to get ideas from. And something else that I have done in the past is take the sheet load and get an inspiration for a scrapbook page. So, you know, I might do that one day, show you how you can take a card sketch and turn it into an inspiration for, a, you know, a scrapbook page. It's really cool. So what this video is for today is just to give you some inspiration and um you know just show you how many cards you can get out of 24 sheets this is 24 sheets of six by six pattern paper again this is katherine puller and what's so great about katherine puller is she puts on here all the ink colors that match with this paper pad and she puts the sequence mix i don't think i've ever mentioned that um, and i'm very blessed i have all her inks her inks are my inks of choice you guys know that so I did pull some of the inks down. Um, I used Coral Cabana, Samba, Minted, and I also pulled on in, um, in the park. So I didn't get those out. Um, I've already put them up, but I will list them below. And this is what I have left from this pattern. Well, now that's cardstock. This is all the little sheets that I have left. Now, a couple of these, these right here, I do plan on keeping, um, but I'm okay. I'm not a person that has to keep every little piece of paper. I may keep these and do something with them. Um, I could make some cute tags, I guess, or I may not. You know, I, I don't know. To me, I'm good. This is what I got it down to. These sheets I love and I'm gonna keep. Um, I could probably do something with these um so we'll see we'll see but if i don't that's okay too you know um maybe i'll put these in my little scrap box i do have a scrap box that i keep for youtube and then ever so often i do a drawing and i'll send out what's in the scrap box and i've preferenced this before i referenced this before that is nothing in that box that i would not use i, I don't put junk in it if it's trash I'm not going to put it in the box. To me, this is trash, and I would not put this in the box. To me, this is not trash. You could actually do something with these papers right here. Um, I, I really like that combo, maybe that right there. You know, you could probably do something with that right there. But like I said, to me, I'm done with this paper pad. I did really good, so let's just go ahead and see how many cards we got. All right, so for the first set of cards, I used January's sheet load of cards. Again, let me say, if you go to Alicia's channel, you become a subscriber to her channel, you can get these downloads for free. The only thing that she asks is that you go to the channel and you subscribe. So just keep that in mind. So from this sketch, I pulled in this stamp set. This is May May's Sunny Hello. This is what I used in the previous sheet load. I love the typography on this stamp set. It's beautiful. I don't know if that's May May's handwriting or whose it is, but it is just, it's so pleasing. All right. All I added to these sketches was cardstock, and I'll tell you on the cardstock I got in my scrap bin, and that's what I used. So here's the cards that I made with that. And the the strip here calls for, you know, a decorative strip. 
I use the banner die that I have. I don't know if you call it banner dies, but I got these from Scrap Diva Designs, and I absolutely love these. These are gorgeous. So what I did is cut a couple pieces out with this and just cut them down. So one piece of paper, pretty much, I think I did two, and it used it. So I love these banners. I don't know what these are called. They're called purse strap. This is purse straps. I use them as decorative edges, so to each their own, right? Okay, so there's four. So I got four out of that, and that's January. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the stamp sides to the stamp sets to the side and put the cards here. The next one is August of 2020 right here and I use Catherine Puller's stamp set. Um, this is called Shine on Sunflowers. This is a beautiful stamp set. I love the sentiments on this. Shine on my friend. So thankful. Hope this brightens your day. And it does have the dies with it. So what I did with this one is I did Hope this brightens your day. I just pulled in some decorative cardstock and I did three of those and these this greenery is from the stamp set I just you know did a bunch of those put that right there and there's the the sketch and I did stay very true to this sketch um, even down to the the embellishment that I use so I was pretty true to this sketch a lot of times I kind of flip them but this one I didn't so let's put that one to the side all right, the next one is October of 2020. This has kind of got a Polaroid feel to it. Um, I pulled in May May's Just Say Hello, and I used that hello. I love the typography. Again, May May's typography on her stamp sets are stunning. Now, this one I messed up a little bit, and I stamped first without putting this down, so I had to cut this one down to make it work. Um, but these are the other two that I did. And in hindsight, I really think this would be a cool card to put a photo there. I put a photo of you and your friend and put, hi. So all these are very generic to where I can just write on the inside or maybe um, just get a set ready and mail out to my family. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with all these cards yet, but isn't this pretty? It's very different. And like I said, I made a mistake, but that's okay. It's still good. And I did add a little dot, a little, um, I think these are called, um, I don't even know what these are called. I've lost it. I got them from Stampin' Up. Here they are. These little things. So tinsel, yeah, tinsel gems. So I've been using these. I really like them. So there's three from those. Let's put that one to the side. And then the last one, I made three, and then I went back and I finished up what I was going to do because I absolutely love this one. This is July of 2023 sketch, and this was not one of my favorite sketches. I don't know why, but when I saw the sketch, I was like, ah, you know, I don't know about that one. And guys, I have used this sketch so many times. Um, I actually have a card on display up here, but I can't reach it. Um... I love this sketch and I wound up making multiple cards out of this sketch. So the stamp set that I brought in is this beautiful stamp set from Katherine Puller and I do not see the name of the stamp set. Huh. It's got roses all over it. Uh, roses are red. That's the name. Roses are red stamp set. Look at this. And as you can tell, I really hadn't used it. So I pulled out this stamp set. And I had a lot of fun with this one. These cards I elevated. Let me show you these. These are so pretty. These are my favorite. I did birthday cards. And I did the roses in Coral Cabana. And um, let's see. What did I use? Coral Cabana and Samba. Look how pretty these are. And look at these papers. And what's so fabulous is when you use a paper pack, you don't have to think about it. They all go together. I think the only thing you really have to think about is what type of patterns you're putting with what. Um, look how pretty, that yellow. I'm not a yellow person, but I love that. Look at these, this, this one's my favorite. Love the color combo on this, love it. I just think that's stunning. And I did this one and this one. I love these, I think these are so pretty. And I did use those embellishment gems again there. 
and I absolutely love this. And you know, when I got this paper pack a couple of years ago, I used it once and I put it up, but I love the colors and I love color. It's funny because I'm really into um, vintage right now. I do a lot of vintage work, but I love color as well. And I think these are just beautiful summery spring cards that you can use um, throughout the summer months. So I am set on birthday cards. So let's see what we did here. All right. So this one is the July 2023. Um, what I'll do, um, I'll link which sketch that I used and I will link her YouTube channel. And then if you want to go find the sketch, then go watch her YouTube channel and she'll tell you how you can get these. These are gorgeous. These are so useful. So I used, let's see here, one, two, three. I used four sketches, right? And out of that paper pack, let's see how many cards we got. So I'm going to pull in my original sheet load, and there's eight here. I know that. We had eight. So I had eight. And then this, I think, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, there's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I got 28 cards out of this paper pad today. All right, now, like I said, this paper pad I had used before. I had used a couple of sheets out of it, but on this project, I got 28 cards. That is pretty impressive. And guess what? I get to throw it away. I'm not putting it back up, which is a major goal of mine. I really challenge you to do that. Go grab some paper that you haven't used and just sit down and relax and just do some crafting. No rhyme or reason. Just, you know, decide what you want to do and, and do some crafting. And that's what I did today on this rainy day. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give me a like. And subscribe if you've not subscribed uh, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do next it's really rainy here like I've said and I'm my mind is in that rainy mode isn't that weird um, I am gearing up for July I will tell you this really quick I'm a big Christmas in July person big Christmas in July so July will be a big month um, we will be crafting for Christmas, and I cannot wait. I've already got a list started, and it is going to be good. All right, guys, until the next video, you guys have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye.